Hey y'all, hey my cheer bears, it's Cherish Debris. Locked in, but I still go and make the blocks spin, you know. Treat you like you number one, I top ten, you know. And I know you thinking that I'm not, you know. I've been way too clocked in. And I'm back with another video. So, um, I I look good. I look good. I don't know. This color really fits me, but so um today's video is gonna be unpopular opinions, which is like um, you know, you have topics and then you just basically put your opinion on that topic. Nothing too much, nothing too less. So I ain't gonna talk too much. I'm gonna get right into the video. Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't be afraid to comment. I do not bite. But like I said, let's get into this video. Yeah, so I came up with some questions on my own. I made some um topics on my own and then yeah so oh i forgot i was doing that i was doing a lot before i started this video but so i have 12 topics i may talk about all 12 topics i may not it really just depends um some of the topics are like sensitive topics so please don't be sensitive in this video everybody has their own opinion my opinion doesn't really matter <clears throat> nor do you have to take it to the heart so you know just enjoy the video don't really get in your feelings you know because we all have opinions and that's just that's just life you know you can't feel some type of way about everybody that doesn't think like how you think so first question that i want to do is putting your putting your personal business or like your business period on social media i'm gonna put something beside this so i can know i did it my opinion on putting your business on social media is just like this is how i feel i feel like if you're the type to do that and you don't do it for attention you just do it maybe because you feel like the people on social media relate to you more or that's just the type of thing you do i feel like once people start giving their opinions and the opinion is not what you expected because you don't know how other people think about what you just put on social media i feel like you cannot have like a problem with their opinions like you can't be like oh well Y'all don't, don't even know the whole story. Y'all don't even know the whole story. Y'all just know what I said. So y'all can't comment anything. Like, you cannot say that to them because you brought it to their attention. Like, nobody asked you. You brought it to their attention. So I don't see how people put their business on social media. But then when people start getting in their business and putting their opinion on it, they be like, oh, you don't even know what's going on. Stay out my business. You don't even know what's going on. Like, you put it on social media. How you gonna tell me to stay out your business and you put your business in my face? Like, I don't understand that. But me personally, I would never do it. Like, even when I blow up and become a billionaire, even when I blow up and, you know, get bigger in life, like, I still wanna put my business on social media just because I feel like, what can the people do for me? I mean, even like telling your business to, like, all your family members or all your friends like nobody can literally do like if like nobody could literally give what you are asking for so i'd be feeling like sometimes it don't even be a reason to like tell people or vent because it's like what you're going through they cannot you know like control only god can so just vent to yourself and god honestly <laughs> next question um how do i feel about people feeling like a relationship should be 90% from a man and 10% from a woman. Now, my opinion, I wouldn't say 90% from a man and 10% from a woman. I don't know. I'm just, I feel like, I feel like I just, I have my own money. I don't need a man to act as my father. And that's just how I feel. And I'm not saying, like, that's what that means. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, I don't a man like my boyfriend doesn't have to pay for my nails every time he doesn't have to buy my wigs all the time he doesn't have to buy me clothes all the time you know what i'm saying he don't he don't have to 
put so much money on me because I can provide for myself. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, I can I feel like if you want your man to buy you all this stuff, you should also be able to buy him all this stuff. Like it shouldn't just be like, oh, he's buying you Louis, Louis Vuitton. He getting you Chanel bags. He done bought you a 900 wig and got your nails done for a honey. But then like he wants some Balenci some Balenciagas or some McQueen's and you can't give it to him. Like it should be 50 50. You should have the funds too. You know what I'm saying? You can't want no rich nigga and you broke. That's just how I feel like. And for boys, you can't want no rich girl and you broke. It should be 50-50. 90 and 10 is not for me. 50-50 is for me. We should be able to go 50-50. It should be 50-50. I should be doing for you. You should be doing for me. Like, it shouldn't just always be you. Because at the end of the day, you didn't birth me. You're not my father. You're my husband. My boyfriend. You know, so... That's how I feel on that. I know a lot of girls like, oh, but your man supposed to do this, he supposed to do that. He supposed to do this, he supposed to do that. Yeah, but then half the time, what are y'all doing for y'all boyfriend? You know, like, what are y'all giving back? Like, he's giving so much, but what are y'all giving back? And I'm not on the girl, I'm not saying I'm not on the girl's side, I am, because let him take care of you, but also be able to give it back, because if he was to fall the next day, you should be able to re-up him too, you know? And saying for vice versa, like, if she fell the next day, you should be able to re-up your girl, too. So, 50-50-50-50. Next topic. The next topic. Okay, I said there. The next topic is toxic parents. Now, I feel like... I feel like the... I feel like my generation... I feel like we would be good parents because... I don't know. A lot of us may not had great parents. And I'm not saying like, oh... They had us outside. I'm saying, like, mentally, I feel like mentally a lot of people is has been in toxic households. And the parents may not have been aware, but... Uh, but anyways, let's get on Let's get on topic. So, toxic parents. I feel like parents really don't never... So, and I'm not all of them, but some of them don't take the time to know your kid and to learn your kid. I feel like a lot of parents just go with the, oh, you're my child. I know you because you're my child. You're my DNA. Like, so they think they just know you, but yeah, I'm your child. Yeah, I'm your DNA, but I am a whole nother person. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I may look like you. Yeah, we may act the same way in certain situations, but I am still a whole nother person. So you still have to take time to learn me, especially for the parents that has not been a, has not been in a child's life. Like, you have to take time to learn that child and be in, and you know what I'm saying, and let them know that it's okay. Like, if they're not perfect and if, you know what I'm saying, like, they, you know, like, kind of may, may give you a headache, they're still a person who is learning, you know what I'm saying, and everybody makes mistakes. I cannot stand that parents, like, get mad at their children for making a mistake, but it's like, I have to learn. Like, nobody's perfect. I have to learn. I have to you know, make mistakes in order to know what not to do next time. Like, okay, I made this mistake, but now I know what not to do. Like, toxic parents, I feel like y'all need to take time and learn y'all kids and take time and accept y'all kids, y'all kids for who they are instead of trying to make them be the kid that you want. I don't know. It's an L. It's really an L for the parents because y'all really just block relationships with y'all kids. And you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a kid, a kid is always open to their parent. They never just off the bat, you know, like built this wall up. But like once you get on that one reason, they're always going to have that wall up. And y'all never tend, not never, but half of the time y'all don't go out and ask your kid like a person like, okay, so what is wrong? You know what I'm saying? What could, what, what did I do? to cause you to be like this like how did me being me affect you what could i have done differently like y'all don't ask y'all kids this y'all just still go on with the you know the toxic acts and some kids really don't put up with it and just leave y'all alone and y'all be wondering like why my daughter acting like this why my son acting like this and it's because they realize like i'm not going through that and nobody should have to go through a toxic relationship regardless if it's a family member that's how i feel like the label family does not mean I have to put up with your toxic activity. Like, it does not mean that you will get blocked just like somebody on the street. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I want a positive life. You know what I'm saying? Nobody want to keep dealing with a mom that's just... Unless... I, and that's... You know what? That's another topic. I had to write that in because I didn't have that wrote in. But since we already talking about, like, let's go into that topic. So, the next topic... 
parents who call their children out their name now i really do not like like that at all mostly because it's just like i feel like that's your child like why would you call your child like a bitch a hoe or you know what i'm saying like anything that's just something that you would call somebody that you beefing with like I don't understand that and then I don't understand like after the fact that they call their children out their name they like feel feel like oh you know I could come back and apologize and everything just be peaches and cream no it don't that actually damages your child like now your child thinks like damn I'm gonna call me a bitch damn I'm gonna call me a slut you know what I'm saying and a slut is horrible like why would you call your daughter that you know what I'm saying like or like for your son like damn my mama just called me I really don't. Then my mama just called me a bitch. Then my mama just disrespected me. You know what I'm saying? That makes them think like, wow, like you don't have no boundaries. That's how I feel like you would literally like, if you got mad at me, you would treat me as if I was your friend or as if I was somebody on the streets. Like you don't have that boundary that this is my child. I'm not going to call my child stuff like that. And then once they put that wall up, like, okay, now I'm not going to talk to you. Then y'all be like, oh, but I'm your mother and I'm your parent, you know, because it could be a father too. I'm your parent. You shouldn't treat me like this. But it's like, you treated me like this. So you got to have respect. Parents, you got to respect your child in order for them to get respect back. That's really how I feel like. Just because you're my mother doesn't mean I have to respect you and you can disrespect me. So respect goes both ways. You don't respect me. I'm just going to block you. I ain't going to disrespect you. You ain't going to mess up my blessings. But we just not gonna talk no more. You know what I'm saying? You should accept that because you were wrong for doing me how you did me. And parents, y'all got some, y'all got some learning to do. Y'all need to, somebody need to put, um, and make parenting classes because I feel like a lot of, a lot of stuff should be changed on how y'all do y'all kids. But and I'm not saying that kids don't you know do their parents wrong but i'm just saying like i see a lot of situations as to where it's like the parent doing this calling their kid this is not third like that that needs to be out the door like that's that's disrespectful and it's wrong and somebody need to tell y'all that next topic so i really don't know what talks what topic i want to do the next topic is not going to college so my opinion on not going to college i feel like it really just depends on your journey don't ever feel like oh i didn't go to college it's not there i'm gonna be behind or you know i'm not making the right path you know what path you want to take and as long as you put your brain to it and you be consistent with whatever you chose to do and you believe in yourself and you believe that god got you you're gonna make it like college for me is for if you need like a degree for something like i have my mind on doing something but i know that i don't have to go to college to literally pursue what i want to do so i'm not really focused on going to college right now i may go to beauty school but then like half of the time nowadays you don't even really gotta go to beauty school you can just start doing your hair so i feel like college really just depends on what path you take and don't ever feel peer pressure to go to college you know and i'm not saying don't go that's not what i'm saying but if that's not your path and you know this is your path like you want to do this and it doesn't take college for you to go don't feel peer pressure or like you're not going to make it or like you're wrong for not going you're right god has different paths for everybody and maybe your path just isn't college and that's fine that's fine you know what i'm saying like go visit your friends and then have that little college experience from the outside you don't have to be in the inside and you know don't ever feel wrong for not going oh living or moving out with your boyfriend at like a young age so living or moving out with your boyfriend at a young age now my opinion on this is a lot of people say don't do it like oh don't do that like you're too young why would you move out with a boy this and third but i feel like if y'all have a bond and you trust that person because i mean like even if you did trust that person you moved out and they did you some dirt then you know you learned your lesson like and there's nothing wrong with making mistakes i don't know why people make it seem like you cannot make a mistake or if you do you gotta feel embarrassed like if you moved out with your man and then two weeks later he like threw yourself at the apartment you couldn't come back like okay you know what i'm saying go back to your parents house and rack your money up and go back and get your own apartment like you have to learn from your mistakes but I don't 
don't have i don't feel like there's nothing wrong with it like sometimes your boyfriend your partner tends to be your best friend you really you know what i'm saying you don't need a homegirl or a cousin or somebody to move with maybe your boyfriend is that person and there's nothing wrong with that don't let nobody tell you like oh you too young to move out with a boy or i'm moving out with a boy for your first apartment isn't what you're supposed to do like if that's what you want to do and if that's what you trust and you talk to god about it and he was like you know what i'm saying this he gave you to go you feel me it's nothing no red flags and nothing like or y'all have you know like shared a bill and you know he kept his part so you trust that nothing will go wrong in this situation and do you yeah hey chair bears i'm back my sister you know had to tell me some she had to come tell your girl some so i had to pause my video so but um where was i so yeah don't ever let nobody you know my whole thing on this is do as you feel don't never let it be a family member a friend an outsider tell you that this is wrong everybody has to experience like this is life and life is full of choices and if you only make your choices based off what everybody says you would never live how you want to live like so if that's the step that you want to take and you trust it like i said and god haven't shown you no red flags because god is never gonna like i feel like if anything was wrong with it god would have shown you beforehand you know what i'm saying and if you ignored it and then it happened, you would have came to your sisters like, okay, I ain't going like God did show me the red flag. I just ain't take it. You know what I'm saying? So if it's been green lights throughout the whole, you know, process of filling out applications, of, you know what I'm saying, going and looking for houses, of putting the deposit down, y'all went 50 50, or he put in more, you put in more, but it's still y'all putting in, it's been no red flags, then do you. <laughs> do you. And vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Do you. Do you and live your life. Don't never dim down for nobody. Because some people don't even... Some people are probably even mad that you even are moving out. Regardless if it's with your boyfriend. They're probably just mad that you're moving out in general. So, you can't please everybody. And if you try, you're going to be tired. So, topic. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. So, I'm going to put next topic. The next topic is girls who wear makeup. Including myself. I don't, well, I don't do full beats. Like, this is my bare skin. Why did I do that? But, like, I stay doing my eyebrows. I don't care. My eyebrows gonna be done in everything you see me in because I love doing eyebrows. But, anyway, so, the topic is girls who wear makeup. Now, I, I wanted to talk about this because I feel like a lot of people have the wrong perspective on makeup. A lot of people try to make it as, like, oh, you wear makeup. And especially if you're a girl who wears it, a lot like they put it as like you're insecure or you don't love yourself without it or you don't like how you look without the makeup whatever case whatever the makeup is like i feel like that's never the case you know what i'm saying like a girl could just do her makeup because it's therapy you know what i'm saying a girl could just do her makeup because she just likes doing it it give her something to do a girl could do her makeup because she just likes looking good and that's her thing like but it never be like a girl doesn't love her like love herself in her own skin or like y'all because y'all be saying some reckless thing <laughs> y'all be saying some reckless thing like making it seem like women are actually insecure about being in their bare skin just because they wear they wear makeup like makeup is a a choice you know what i'm saying like and then who are you to say that they wear it all the time do you probably just only see them with it on you know what i'm saying like it may be people who are close to them that's like god i've seen that girl bare face all the time she just put on makeup when she's on instagram or she just put on makeup when she go on tiktok or when she go on facebook snapchat like you just may see her all the time in makeup like i don't feel like that defines if a woman loves herself or not i really do not feel like that defines because that could just be something she do maybe she's investing in it and she's practicing on herself instead of other people you never know people's situations this is why i just don't know why people always gotta have to say so and like oh yeah she wear makeup she's insecure like you know what i'm saying then for the other women to be like oh at least i ain't gotta wake up and beat my face every day like okay and you chose to do that maybe you mad because you don't know how to beat your face every day <laughs> okay so next opinion well let me see how many more i got so i really do want to touch 
I really didn't want to talk about these two topics, but they're more like really sensitive so i really don't i may do that if y'all like this and turn this up i may just do a part two and add those in there but i don't know about for this one so i have two more topics so i'm, I'm gonna do them two topics so the first topic out of those two is smoking weed so ah i feel like smoking weed if everybody smoke weed nobody will argue that's how i feel like because we i don't even know why it's been honestly like but um anyways like i was saying i don't know why it's well it's not banned everywhere but i don't know why it's banned in the places that it's banned in because like i seen this topic right i seen this like quote or this like video or something and it was like um it was like alcohol and liquor are uh, el I meant legal, but we is illegal when alcohol and wait, is that? Ooh, I'm having a slow one, but like beer, you know, beer and liquor, they cause accidents because you know, liquor makes you woozy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really don't know what you're doing, and a lot of accidents happen with somebody being drunk, so it's like y'all have that legal. But y'all have weed illegal when it's like the most weed could do is fucking put you in a weed coma and you just like. Or then after your little weed coma, you in the kitchen eating up all your mom's food stamps. Like she done bought fresh food and you done ate it all up. That's about the most that can happen from weed. Like you can't go and even like driving high, it don't even like. I, I feel like if you don't crash off driving high, like, you just don't know how to drive because we don't make you, like, oh, shit, this is a stop sign, stop sign all the way down the road, like, or maybe I haven't smoked no gas then, shoot. <laughs> no, but we, I, I feel like there's nothing wrong with it. It really clears, it really, like, if you're stressing or anything, it really helps with stress for me, like, it makes you more calm, it makes your brain pause for a second, like, my brain be rambling with a lot of things to do like oh my god i need to get this done or you know when you got stuff to do like my brain be like oh my god cherish you gotta get this done you gotta get it done by tomorrow we gotta get this bun done by next week we got this bill in two weeks like that's my brain so when i smoke i just be like gotta handle it sure like that's, that's really how i be like we is a plus for me i really cannot wait today legal make it legal because and then the last topic is how i feel about vaping now vaping also in my opinion now i don't know like how it does your body or anything and i'm not finna talk about that because i don't know and i'm not finna talk about nothing that i don't know and i'm not educated about but from just like smoking a vape well i was just smoking my vape in the last video i'm a vapor a little bit not too much because i really only hit it when i'm like I really need to blow something, you feel me? But I don't really be high. So that's the only time I really, really vape. But, you know, I feel like vaping, there's nothing wrong with vaping. I feel like vaping, sometimes it's a plus because, especially for the weed smokers that can't smoke in the crib, you know, because your parent like, nah, like that smell, you know, you could vape in the crib. So it's, it's really a plus, you know, and I don't see nothing wrong with it. I got friends who vape a lot. I got a friend, well, I had a friend who had a shoebox full of vapes, like, and nothing's wrong with her. She's good. So, I don't think vaping is bad on any parts. It's just, like, weed. I don't think weed is bad on any parts. So, those are my opinions, though. If y'all know that vaping does something to your body, let me know. Because I've, I'm, I've been starting to vape. So, y'all need to put me in if that's the case. If that's what it's giving. But, so, hey, y'all. So, that completes the video i really really like doing this i'm not even gonna lie like just giving my opinion on things and i will do a part two whenever i have some time next time but um yeah this was this was very like i really did like this and i really hope y'all you know could comment some more stuff that i should talk about and put my opinion on or even like maybe if y'all want a more in depth on how i feel about certain things like a video a video just on this topic a video just on that topic i would definitely get it done for y'all you know always tuning y'all up because we going up together this is our 
year 2020 2022 been good for me like especially after graduation life just been a plus so you know definitely gonna get the content out so anyways hold on because i got stuck on the weed but yeah like comment and subscribe turn your girl up don't forget to tune into all my social media platforms they will be in the description below i hope y'all having a nice day and always stay positive don't don't make nothing negative even if you stress out after you watch my video i hope you just feel positive about anything and everything and if you don't i'm here for you i really am so enjoy y'all day i'll see y'all next time on my next video Bye.